and welcome to the Bioprocess Institute. Today we will be studying the effects of heat configurations on systems. Here we have a typical setup with a 2 inch stainless steel T with a pressure gauge ranging from 0 to 60 psi to monitor our system pressure. Gauges are mounted in this upright vertical position to allow for ease of access for calibration and maintenance by technicians. Let's take off our gauge to do some routine maintenance and calibration. As you can see, this was a fairly easy process and did not result in any spilling of the process fluids. Although this is easier for technicians to calibrate and maintain the gauges, what is happening inside this T when our process is flowing? Is it completely cleanable? Let's find out. Now we have replaced the 2 inch stainless steel T with a polypropylene T of the same dimensions to be able to see what is happening inside of our T during flow. Let's turn on the pump and see what happens inside. At a velocity of about 5 feet per second, we can see that we still have an air pocket remaining in our T and this does not allow for complete cleaning of the system. Let's see what this means when we take an end cap coated in grape juice and subject it to the process flow at about 5 feet per second. Now let's replace our gauge with an end cap coated in grape juice to see if we can completely clean the cap. Here we have the end cap coated in dried grape juice to demonstrate cleanability of this system. Let's turn on the pump and see what happens over the course of a few minutes at a velocity of approximately 5 feet per second. As you can see our air pocket is still remaining, so let's give it a minute or two and see what happens to our grape juice. After approximately five minutes with the pump on, let's remove our end cap and see how clean it is. As you can see, the amount of grape juice has been reduced but not completely eliminated after five minutes and a velocity of five feet per second. This is because the fluid cannot completely reach the end cap due to the air pocket created in the leg. Stay tuned for more from the Bioprocess Institute.